Hey guys, it's James Barber. Um, I wanted to talk to you today um, about something that's very important to me and something that I am working on uh, in my life to put out to the world to help. You know, I've traveled around the world doing concerts, doing speaking engagements, doing shows, and I've asked a series of questions. It started off just as, you know, shooting the breeze with friends. And then I started asking them sort of as survey questions to people as I met. And I'm gonna ask those same three questions to you. The first question that I ask these people when I meet them is, do you have a dream? Do you have some dream in your life that you've always wanted to achieve? Some dream. And when I ask that question, 100% of the people say yes, they do. They've had a dream, they have a dream. And then I ask the second question. And the second question is, have you achieved it? And I will tell you that 99% of the people say no, that they have not achieved their dream. And then I ask them a third question, why not? And I get a myriad of answers, they range. But when it all boils down to the bottom line, it's fear, fear of failure, fear of not being able to survive while they're achieving their dream or trying to achieve their dream, social pressures, obstacles that are put in their way or that they think are put in their way. So I want to ask you those same questions. Do you have a dream? And if you have, have you achieved it? And if you have, that's awesome. But if you haven't, why not? What is standing in the way of you achieving your dream, of achieving your goal? Look, I have been through hell and back in my life. I have been faced with obstacles that many people look at as unsurmountable. Um, and some people look at as small because there are people out there who have lived through far worse things. My goal is to say, what if? What if you can achieve your dream? What if we can identify those obstacles and push them to the wayside? Or in turn, use them as strength so that you can actually buoy yourself up and push forward. Here's one obstacle. I don't have enough money to pursue my dreams. For you artists out there, you actors, you singers, you dancers, you musicians, you photographers. Sure, okay, you graduate college, or you go to film school, or you just learn on your own, but you could become proficient in your art. Now what? You move to New York City, and you're faced with paying $3,000 a month for a studio apartment or a one-bedroom apartment. Even if you share that, that's $1,500 a month. Even if you saved money in college, you're going to go through that very quickly if you don't have a job that's bringing you income. So oftentimes what happens, no matter if you go to Los Angeles, Vancouver, Nashville, or Paris, wherever you're going to go, unless you're independently wealthy and good on you if you are, you need to have some sort of financial support that allows you the freedom to pursue your goals and dreams. One of the number one responses I got on why have you not achieved your dreams is because I had to get a job to make ends meet. And I just sort of, you know, fell into it and it became this cycle. And I wasn't able to audition or I wasn't able to go out and gig or I, I couldn't spend time actually going and creating my photography portfolio because I was working so much to pay for rent and pay for food. Actors, you have to pay for rent, you have to pay for food, acting class, dance, singing, headshot. I mean, it's on and on and on and on. And it's daunting. For you people out there that are not even in the entertainment industry, my mother was a teacher. And I got to tell you, one of the greatest unsung professions of our world. I think they should be the highest paid people. Um, they are the reason our students and our children and, and we grow up to do what we do. So let's say you want to be the best teacher in the world. What is stopping you from being the best teacher in the world? You want to raise the bar. You want to make your students the best that they can be. That's, that's achievement. That's success. Becoming a better teacher. Becoming a better accountant. How can you do that? So I'm here to say, what if? What if you can? What if you can achieve everything you've ever wanted? What if you can push away those obstacles? Push away the obstacles that you think are standing in your way and go straight for that target. 
what if? Well, I want to help you do that, and I have a plan to do so. So what I want you to do is I want you to opt into the newsletter, and you're going to be sent some information about the rollout of this new program that I'm doing. We're going to help each other. We're going to become a community. Like you've supported me, I will support you, and we will all support each other. And we can achieve our goals and thrive. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you real soon.